Hi Aries, this is a general love reading for mid-April for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also, if you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box. So please do, do read over it before, before emailing me. But of course, you can email me if you have any questions. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries, mid-April 2021. All right, we have recognition and we have nostalgia. All right, so I feel like there is somebody here um, in the situation, you or your person, who is now beginning to recognize this connection for what it is or for what it was um, and there's a lot of nostalgia attached to that all right so i feel like somebody was not really um seeing this connection before and it's kind of like realizing that now and so there's a lot of nostalgia attached to that so if this is your person um then yeah they're definitely missing you let's see the details here. So I do get the sense that <clears throat> there might be some distance between the two of you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It could just be a nostalgia for maybe how things used to be. Recognizing just um, something from the past maybe. Something that someone had taken for granted. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your energy, their energy, and what is coming up in the future. And then get an Oracle card to close it off. Alright, so for you, we have the Four of Wands. The Seven of Wands and the Three of Sorry, the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like they're. Uh, it, it feels like you're being um, guarded. Maybe I feel like you feel like this was something. This was a connection that was very meaningful for you. You wanted to find stability. You wanted to find a home in this connection with this person. But I feel like something is happening or something has happened that has caused you to be a little bit on guard or to be um, a little bit defensive. And it's kind of like, it, I, I feel like you're not really sure how to deal with whatever it is that is going on here. It's like, and I feel like this defensiveness is coming from a place of uncertainty about the balance maybe between the two of you. Let's see for them. For them, we have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords. All right, so this is someone who is very conflicted here. Um, so much so that they're trying to avoid the conflict is what I'm getting here. Um, I feel like they're thinking a lot about the situation. They do have this drive to want to communicate, but it could be that they're holding back a little bit from communicating. And I feel like this is why, you know, we have the nostalgia. So even if you are in contact, I feel like there's this sense of escapism from their end. Because something in, within your connection is, is creating conflict for them. Um, we'll see what that is when we clarify. Let's see, for the near future, we have the Magician, the Page of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, wow. So definitely there's some action, all right, that is coming up. I feel like um, there's going to be a conversation, some communication coming up that is going to be more heartfelt, that is going to feel more real rather than this defensiveness that I'm kind of seeing um, from the both of you. And I do see that leading to something more stable. I feel like this might be your person here as this King of Pentacles, able to offer something a little bit more stable to the connection. Um, I also do want to get a final message here, and it is the Four of Swords. All right, so yeah, there's definitely some healing that needs to be um, done 
in this connection in order for it to get to that place of coming back together to how things used to be or to just coming together, all right, if, if it was never there. So with all that said, let's start clarifying. And actually, just noticed they're a little off center, so let me move them closer for you to see. All right. So let me clarify, <clears throat> I want to clarify the Seven of Wands for your energy. All right, we have the Devil, the Moon, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so first of all, they're all major arcana, and starting this off with the, having the Devil and the Moon actually <laughs> does show me that, I, I, I don't know, I feel like you are a little bit defensive, and you might have Maybe you have your reasons for that, but I feel like there's an aspect to that defensiveness that might be um, keeping you in the dark from your own self and possibly keeping a shift from happening. And I'm not saying that you should let your guard down and be vulnerable, you know, to this person or, you know, become a doormat or anything like that. But, you know, just take a look at this defensiveness and what it is that you might be... Um, trying to protect yourself from, you know, maybe it's just a matter of facing something, all right, or acknowledging maybe um, your emotions attached to this, you know, I, I mean, I, I get the sense that it almost feels like you're blocking something from your own self here, and it's not necessarily this connection, although it definitely could be, okay, so <clears throat> for each of you, it could be different, but there's definitely... I feel like this defensiveness that you might be um, presenting here is coming from a place of fear. So I feel like facing that fear is what is going to help to shift things, regardless of whether you know this um, relationship comes together or not. It's going to be something that is going to help to shift things away from that fear. Let me see the Two of Pentacles. All right, the Four of Swords <clears throat> and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you know, so I feel like what you're having a hard time doing is, I feel like you're trying to heal something from this connection. There is something that you are wanting to detach from. And it could even be your own feelings. It could be from this person. It, it's just you detaching from something. So maybe this is someone that you feel was toxic for you. I don't know. We'll see once we get to their energy. Uh, maybe there's another situation that you feel is toxic that, you know, could be interfering here. I don't know. But whatever the case is, I feel like this it's this defense, this defensiveness that you're holding on to and really trying to protect yourself and trying to guard yourself, that's actually what is preventing you from that healing. That is what is preventing you from moving away from whatever it is that is toxic for you. That is what is keeping things off balance and what is making you feel so unsure. I feel like as soon as you are able to, um, to let your guard down to your own self, that is when this healing is going to really come into play here. Let's see what's going on with them. So let me see the Seven of Swords. All right, the Three of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles and the Tower. Ooh, okay. So this person, again, rules can be reversed. Um, but this person is definitely trying to escape um, some kind of a reconciliation here, even though this is something that they would truly want, all right? That energy of the Ten of Pentacles is there. This person, it, it does have that 
desire to want something committed to want something stable and i feel like it was there in the past so maybe this is maybe this person took it for granted for example um <clears throat> And is just now, only now beginning to have that recognition of this connection. But the thing is, is that it's like they're, they're trying to sneak away from it. They're trying to avoid this um, coming back together or in some way keeping things, you know, making things more fun, making things more light, coming back to this state of being able to enjoy this relationship but the thing is is that it's also attached to this tower which means that as they as they, the more they do this the more they are avoiding this the harder things are getting for them and i feel like that's why we also have this um five of wands here which is this conflict um things are i feel like they're having a wake-up call so actually i feel like and especially also with that page of swords being there i feel like it is them it is this person who is beginning to recognize this um, connection. So let's see the five of wands. Hmm. All right. The king of wands and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's kind of like, <clears throat> again, I feel like this person really has a lot of drive here um, for you. I feel like they're conflicted with the situation with you, obviously, but it also has to do with their own self um, a little bit. But I feel like it mostly... Let me get one more. Because I also feel like they're doing um, small things... To try to build up this courage, but there's something here that is conflicting them to the point where I feel like it's blocking them. And this is what is causing them to um, try to escape. The Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. It's not really clear to me exactly what the what it is that is conflicting them about this connection i feel like it's going to be different for all of you but what i do see is that they are trying to do certain things or trying to take certain steps to kind of put things into place um trying to organize this situation but at the same time avoiding you avoiding the reconnection avoiding the commitment um, and again, it, like I said, it's creating a tower. It is conflicting them, but I feel like it's this tower that is actually going to push them to to get on the right path here. All right, and with the Six of Cups, I do see this as a um, reconciliation. It's showing up again because they really do want that. All right, this is also a longing for the past or a longing for you. All right, it's that nostalgia. And... Whatever this tower is, I, I feel like it's going to be something big. It could already be happening for some of you, and for some of you, uh, I feel like it's just coming up in mid-April. Um, but then again, time is, is relevant. So either way, this is pushing them to get on the right path. Let me see the Page of Swords. Of cups yeah there's there's definitely a lot of um, emotions here so I do feel like it is it is the person in this row here which is having that recognition and having that nostalgia here for the connection mostly um, I do feel like it could be the both of you having this nostalgia for some of you um, but it's mostly on this other person's end all right, and that is part of the reason why they are able to recognize the connection. I feel like it has to do with the fact that right now, things might not be, um, you, you, you're not really in that much communication. And so there is that sense of nostalgia. There's a lot of conflict. Person is still avoiding, but this is creating a lot of conflict for them, pushing them on the right path. 
uh, because those feelings are definitely there. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this person is um, really following you you know, through social media or just really curious about what, what it is that's going on with you. So let's see what is coming up because I see things shifting here. Let's see the Magician. We have the Queen of Swords. So definitely this is a lot of clarity that is coming in. This is that recognition that I've been talking about, all right? And because of that, because of that recognition, which is going to come after that tower. Um, so if, you know, if you're feeling like your person is avoiding you or is avoiding the situation, I see this, this tower coming in to really shake them up. Um, something big is happening and this is causing them to have this, this major revelation about, the, about your connection. And that's what's pushing them to manifest some sort of communication here or just an emotional expression of what they're feeling. So for the Page of Cups, we have the Four of Cups. I, yeah, this, <laughs> I feel like a part of this communication that's going to come through is going to be about how unhappy um, they are. Um, feeling like they're just settling, feeling like, like there's something missing from their life. So I feel like... It, this is just going to really be them, if they have their guard up or however much they've been escaping, it's like coming back and just really opening up here. I feel like it's just the other extreme of what we were seeing up here with the Seven of Swords. Let me see the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so for some of you, it could be that you're dealing with an earth sign because we do have, I feel like, quite a bit of um, pentacles showing up. Um, possibly another Aries, maybe. All right, with the magician being here as well. So depending on how this, this communication goes, I feel like it's really going to then depend on you, <clears throat> on your reactions to this. Because I see, I, I totally see this as being your person wanting to come in and have this commitment and working towards kind of like starting a little bit from the beginning, trying to find a new way of making things work, like taking a new path. Trying to find practical solutions to whatever the issues were here. All right, let me see the Four of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and Temperance. Okay, so this is another card of healing here, and I feel like this card pertains mostly to you. Um, I feel like there is something here, this person may have hurt you, all right, especially having that Seven of Swords here. There may have been something that was a little bit dishonest, actually, um, from their end. I see them wanting to come back and to have an open communication about how unhappy they are in which through this they might actually um, reveal certain things. And I feel like that is going to bring, or at least it has the potential, depending on how you take it, to bring stability to this relationship. All right, but I feel like what a message for you here is that it's also a matter of you healing, all right? Regardless of what you want to do with this other person here or what you decide to do. I feel like this is something you just, you know, can't avoid because if you do, it's just not going to help you to move forward. You're going to stay in that Seven of Wands energy, which isn't going to help to shift things regardless. All right, and part of that healing is really um, to feeling abundant and, you know, um, pretty assured within your own self, finding self, um, self-worth, self-confidence, if you feel like that might be lacking, you know, how do you feel about your own self? Or even just, you know, feeling like you're okay being single. Um, it could be that as well for some of you. All right, healing that, whatever it is, because that is what is going to open this door to, to this new path, whether you decide for it to be with this person or not, because I do see them coming back in here And offering that stability and for some of you if it's not them well someone is <laughs> all right and I feel like you you could be this magician and you can manifest that you can manifest this by 
um, just really focusing on your own independence, your own self-worth and healing whatever it is that needs to be healed here. And a big part of that is, you know, removing that guardedness, that protectiveness um, that you have from your own self so that you can go deep and see what your fears are. All right, as I was saying in the beginning. All right, so let's close this off with an oracle card from a deck that I don't use too often, but <clears throat> let's see. Okay, interesting. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Alright, so I guess that is definitely a potential here for some of you, which is interesting to me because this very first card here, the Four of Wands, um, to me can also represent a marriage. And yeah, so this is definitely something that um, could be a potential for this connection. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this made sense and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.